Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching episode three of The Haunting of Hill House, which is called Touch. Um, yeah, this show is really full of questions and very intriguing. Yeah. So much so we just pushing through and watching the next one yeah. immediately. We were gonna stop, but we couldn't. Yeah. I just wanna know more. Yeah. But you know, I feel like I was actually really nervous about watching this show beforehand mm. because, like I said, I've not really watched any horrors in a while, so I was a bit scared of just like being scared. Yeah. But so far, pretty much firmed it through most of yeah. these. I think so. Yeah, it's been yeah, pretty <laughs> well. Yeah, they're not they've not been like too scary, no. but it does worry me where it's going. But I'm really yeah. intrigued. Damn yeah. show. So um, yeah, definitely, that has a bit of a kind of carrot in the stick feel. Like they've they've lured us in with the night, and I feel they're now gonna. Smack it's us just, with the pure horror. It's just a lot of the shows that we've been watching recently. Uh, so we've also been watching Vikings 6B, which uh, obviously no spoilers, but <laughs> it's much the same <laughs> where it's full of bloody questions and yeah. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So, yeah, it was just a general feeling of confusion with a lot of the shows that we're watching at the moment. But like a good confusion. Where, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, it's, intrigue. It's intrigue, confusion. yeah. Um, so... In the last episode, it was much the sort of repercussions of yeah. Nell's death. Um, we have what's called a Deirdre. That is Shirley. Shirley. Cheryl. Yeah, Cheryl. Uh, she has taken on the responsibility yeah. of embalming her own sister, which is pretty mighty. But she's mm. kind of she's seen two ghosts so mm. far as an adult in in the in the present timeline in this show she saw someone on the sofa and then she also saw her mum in the morgue with um yeah, her with... sister and then oh and the, obviously the bug crawled out of yeah. her sister's mouth but then wasn't there so can't fully work out whether she is just attributing all of that to like her mind playing tricks on her or whether she kind of just knows that she sees ghosts mm. and is just kind of dealing with it in her own way um, she seems a pretty strong lady so it could be that she's just like yeah. It's a ghost, fine. Because I'll the brother the was always like, he wrote those stories, but he's like, yeah. I've never actually seen a ghost. Mm. But maybe, but he always seemed a bit like he was a bit sad about that. Yeah. Or, um, which him, he may regret wishing. Yep. But maybe it's that all the brothers and sisters are kind of yeah. aware of. Well, it kind of stuff. seems like denial versus acceptance. Like yeah. they, they're all, they're all, they've obviously all been through the same thing because they're the same family and they've all kind of handled it in very different ways. Uh, Cheryl just seems to be kind of stoicking through and she's mm -hmm. taken a job that involves being around death a lot or like dealing with corpses the whole mm -hmm. time to that kind of comes build a, up a resistance. That comes a lot from how she saw her mother after she died. Indeed. And it's clearly that's what she wanted to do she was older. Mm -hmm. And even the little lessons from the from the kittens that obviously the parents oh. didn't want to, to do or thought that they handled mm -hmm. badly but probably did kind of help her in a way. Mm -hmm. But I think from all the flashbacks that we see, Steve and is the only one who hasn't, like, yeah, hasn't seen anything yeah. himself. He's kind of seen the pictures that his brother yeah. drew and he's got the whole memory of his dad, like, dragging him out and telling him to close his eyes and he's gone into when the kid was, like, the, the little sister was scared yeah. and he knows all of this stuff has happened, but he doesn't... Um, he doesn't seem to see. have had any, like, literal contact with ghosts yeah, until no. Nell. And so, yeah, until Nell showed up in his, in his apartment, which was yeah. fun. So I kind of wonder whether he's going to get the most haunted out of everybody here. Just that kind of maybe it's just they maybe the ghosts are playing like a long game. Yeah, where, waiting. Yeah, they get everybody else, and slowly he's the kind of the last one standing or the one mm. they go after. I don't know. Kill all his family and have them haunt him instead. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I think. I mean, that's most of it. We obviously had a few flashbacks mm. and kind of show how bad Luke's problem with is with yeah. drugs. And we saw Nell's wedding where she seemed a lot happier and mm. more normal than she's seemed recently in the days like leading up to her death. I haven't heard anything from the dad, which seems a little bit odd. Yeah, um, kind of worried where he is. Because the last we saw, wasn't he at Hill House? Yeah, well, we didn't see. He'd just gone there oh, yeah. to... You know, he'd made the call to say that um, he'd found Nell. Mm. Uh but yeah, I still need more details from yeah. that as well. So hopefully this episode answers it. If you enjoy our reaction, guys, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified of any future uploads. And follow us on Twitter. The link is down below. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this thing. Awesome. Please be a person. Are you, Nellie? Oh no, it doesn't look... You could sleep with me for tonight. 
That doesn't look like a good No. Hand. I'm really freaked out, huh? I'm really squeezing too tight. Oh. Really? Oh, God. It's not good. I'm really glad there was no one. <laughs> yeah. This is Theodora, isn't it? I think so, yeah. yeah. Where's the end? Was I holding? Oh. Down. I went downstairs to the kitchen to get a snack, and that's the first night I saw him, Mr. Smiley. And what did you do? I stayed as quiet as I could, thinking maybe he'd just stay down there. What does Mr. Smiley look like? Just a big smile. Too big. He's always smiling, but he isn't happy. You said something about where he lives? Where does Mr. Smiley live, Kelsey? Under the house. In the basement? So she like a... Children's counsellor. Yeah. Something. Did she freak out because she touched yeah. her hand? Because oh, she normally wears the gloves. Yeah. See, when I was little, I was afraid of a lot of things. They didn't have to be, though. They were all in my head. Is it because she was holding... Like something held her hand? What if she's an empath? Big wall. Yeah. And she wears the gloves to stop. Because she can I read people when she touches them. Another... It's kids like us. We're great builders. We make ourselves really safe. And no one ever gets in. Mr. Smiley does. Oh, she looks a lot like Angelina Jolie. She really does, yeah. Crazy. Thank you. Yeah, because she's wearing the gloves now, but she wasn't with the child, so maybe mm. you're right. She... I thought maybe she wore them because it's of that on... horrible yeah. memory of somebody she doesn't know holding her hand. Which, to be fair, also a pretty good reason to wear gloves all the time. Yeah. I would probably do it too. But that would make sense why she doesn't get close to people as well. Yeah, because she, she can't handle feeling their emotions all the time. Yeah. Each episode's kind of been centred on yeah, a, di a different... Yeah, I, I think these first, they're all how each person reacted at the moment of finding out about now. Yeah. Hang on. This is... Which is cool. Fancy. <laughs> Yeah, she, she was she was reading that something important inside. She could feel it. Forty nine, Claude of Vienna. Damn. <laughs> this is quite. How did you know that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, she gets some senses. Mm. I think. Oh, this scene changes are like yeah. the transitions. All the awards fed. You're out of mustard. You're almost out of turkey. You know there are people you can actually pay to make you lunch? That yeah. looks like a good and sandwich to be fair. Doesn't help that we're hungry. And the food's better at home. If it's shopping you don't like, you could always find someone to go with you. Someone like that girl from last night. And give up all this. <laughs> <laughs> She's not wearing her gloves now. Yeah, because maybe she feels comfortable around. Yeah. How's work? That's a tough one today. This little girl. Couldn't get anything from her. You always figure out how to help. So good with them. And then this one. She's tough. She's like a brick wall. I know the type. <laughs> like you. But she did get maybe a lot that's... from her, so it must be that. No, no, maybe, maybe, that's, maybe that's why she freaked out when she touched her hand. She, she couldn't, couldn't sense anything. anything. Yeah. Hey, when you're fine, here, let me see. They're so cute, these two. It's like a telephone, but for inside the house. <laughs> here, Nelly, you stay there. That's the other end. And this was a sick bed. How do you know? Oh, she's like my favourite already. Yeah. <laughs> There's no one else worked out that she's got these like No one, powers. No one well, like, nice not pays attention, but no one gives kids credit. I'm not sure she like knows that. yet. I'm Theodora, but I like my friends to call me Theo. Hi, Theo. It's the whoosh sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the whoosh sound. <laughs> it's the magic. You can literally just read the, them entirely from that. I guess this is a flashback then, because that yeah. ain't a new TV. Oh no, of course. Oh. Even the stuff these kids have seen is creepy, so how can they not believe? Unless they just repress it as you get older, but yeah. they're the older ones. You're not funny, Luke. She's like the, well, the child of Angelina Jolie and Gal Gadot. Kind of, yeah. More on the, More on the Angelina, Angelina side, side yeah. yeah. But her sister wants her to kind of get close to someone, but I think she's I think you're doing. afraid to. She's a brick wall, like she's yeah. He's playing Miss Dudley. Why are you yelling at me? Because the dumbwaiter is not a toy. It can be dangerous. That's all you need to say then. Come along. Ooh. You don't have to be so mean about it. She's not mean. She's scared. What makes you say that? She's gonna think she's a witch or something. Yeah. Isn't that the lady that was in the X Files for the last couple of seasons? I don't know, I didn't watch the X Files. 
Oh. Oh no, is that Luke? Luke? Don't go in there. I said it might be her. This is Dudley. She never stays after dark. What are you doing? Trying to take a ride in this elevator? Down no. No, 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 no. Stop doing oh, no, that. No. Thing. No, the door has to be closed. But then I can't reach the buttons. Good. Just one ride. No, no. Please, come on. It's a perfect kid size elevator. No, it's, it's not. It's for food. It's not safe. Oh my god, this is the worst. No, idea. no, 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 no. He's gonna see some weird stuff on the other. She pressed up, didn't she? Why would you do this if he gets trapped in there? Oh. It's like sending kid down into the pit. Oh, there is no way this is going to end well. No. Something horrible. Is, a, is that a freaking rib cage? Yeah. It's going to be how he's traumatised. Oh, oh, no. I hope it's just rats Bring he sees. Up, Shouldn't have done this. It's a bad idea. Don't tell me the fucking torch is dying. <gasps> what was that? That was an arm. Was that was the like same a... arm that was hugging Theo earlier. Oh, it looked like a tentacle. Oh, trying. God. Can you open it? <laughs> and then it's... Oh. That was a face. That was a... Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Luke? I'm 90% sure that was the same monster that was yeah. in bed with Theo earlier. Oh, there's a lot of... They're all dead people, though. Oh. Did you rip your shirt? Must have got caught on the door. Sorry, Grammy. Watcher! Get out of the monster! What the hell were you thinking? See you. Go to your room. You alright? No. <laughs> no one is alright after that. Fucking creepy <sighs> monster dude came along and ripped his shirt and got. And she pressed up on it, didn't yeah. she? Yeah. I mean, it was a bloody stupid idea. Oh, yeah. If that could, even without there being horrible, creepy shit down there like that, no, if you just got so stuck wrong. in there, yeah. There's a reason why dumb waiters aren't serviced by lift people. <laughs> like, there isn't like a help button or an alarm inside. Oh, oh Mr. Smiley. Yep, with a creepy wooden face. That's when she came over to, that's when she came over to Jesus. find her. Oh, yeah. To tell her about yeah. Nell. Maybe from touching it, it's passed, passed Mr. Smiley over to her. Sorry, it's no. She's looking for Luke, isn't she? Yeah. I hope that wasn't the last chance she got to see him. I know, and the toast was supposed to be ten minutes ago. I know, I need Stacy. I'll check the bar and open. Okay. Did you find her? No, she's not out front. Yeah, I'm still missing. Two rooms. I'm gonna check the kitchen. Okay. All right. Okay. Where are they having really? the reception in Hill House? <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna find out why she's disturbed? Oh no. Is Stacy spending some time with the two runaway groomsmen? <laughs> That's the thing about weddings. <laughs> hey. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm ready. It's okay. Yeah. You wanna check your makeup? No, it's fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> you coming? Let's see who's in there. <laughs> oh, 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 nice. Hey. <laughs> we didn't know you were into bridesmaids. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Can you get my dress? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> What do I say? They're saying they don't think she killed herself, or they, and they don't know what to tell the kids. Right. You answer the question that's asked. Tell them that their feelings are correct and they're safe. Tell them you're sad too. If they ask why, tell them you don't know. Better they ask you than me. Why? Because I don't want to have to tell them that I'm fucking pissed at Auntie Nell, who should have known better what this does to a family. I don't want to know why. Yeah, we definitely we need answers. We have so many answers that we need. Probably would have been handy for her to touch the body, though, to be honest. Which is probably why they've made her sort of flee the scene. Hey, I come in? Very cool house, Thank but it does look very haunted. Yeah. They don't believe me about why anything. Oh. First they said Abigail's not real. Now they said the basement's not real. And whatever was down there, he definitely don't believe me. No. He believes you. I believe you. Maybe we can prove it to them. Don't go back so down there. Ladder. 
Yeah. Yep. It looked like there was bottles of booze down there. Maybe some kind of like old yeah, like prohibition. A wine or... No, like an old kind of prohibition secret cubbyhole for storing all their illegal booze. Or just somewhere to <laughs> store their booze. <laughs> Sellers. Fun. More fun that way. <laughs> that might explain why the cellar was hidden. Why would you just go down there? You know? Yeah. As I say, for a psychic who's shown quite a good amount of intellect, this is an incredibly poor plan. Get mum and dad. Yes. All you need to do to prove that he was right is, is show, show them, them that, this. And then leave it alone. <laughs> there is no need to go into the zombie basement. Oh, smart kid. Yeah, they had like barrels of booze and stuff down here. Yeah, and that's the dumb one. Barrels so. of something. Barrels of freaking bodies on gross shit. <laughs> Oh, it's a bit of a shirt. I want to know what happened in Hill House and why these people are here. Like he said about the book. He said, I know all the information, but we don't know why. Oh. Seriously, get other people. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry to just um, drop in on you like this. I didn't realise you made house calls. I don't normally. This is going to sound really strange, but would you mind if I took a quick look down in your basement? <laughs> She's just all about exploring creepy basements. She's all about that basement. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> of the basement, yes, she should. <laughs> just shut, stop. <laughs> oh, the gloves are off. She's cool. She is, yeah. She's already my favourite character, like, yeah. right away. Oh. There it is. The weird 60s creepy couch. Yeah. Is he going to sit down? Mm. I wonder how much she gets to find out, like... Just a feeling yeah, or like kind of fleeting impressions. The story. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> so he's a pedo then. Don't know if that's oh god. Smiley face. But whatever horrific happened, somebody saw that face. You all done? Yeah. I was hoping I'd get into Kelsey's headspace, but I'd understand her better. Got her gloves off, is she gonna hold Just a normal shake person. his hand? That's what we keep telling her. Yeah. I'll die Maybe you're right. Place. Yeah. Oh god. What are you looking at? Your smile. No. So that wasn't a haunting. She's just worked out this smiley face. Well, it's not a supernatural well, haunting, but... Because she said it was in her I... nightmares, wasn't it? Not in, yeah, yeah. grim. Yep. You found this. It was in this little room beside a whole bunch of books like it. It's a book of secrets they were trying to hide. Oh. How do you figure that? I don't know. <laughs> I could tell when I picked it up. Like you could tell there's a false floor in the pantry. It's a ledger for a bootlegging operation. You know what that is? A long time ago, it was illegal to sell alcohol. Yeah, well done. Called it. They didn't want anyone to find it, but you did. They really, really don't like that you went down there by yourself. Yeah. They just wanted to no show one you does. That's yeah. right. I love that you're so brave. And now she knows he's telling the truth. Oh, no. She? Wait. <gasps> Whoa! Does she know she's going to die before she dies? I think so, yeah. Or she knows something terrible is going to happen to her. Oh, they lulled us in with the good story and the kind of human drama. And then they throw that creepy shit at us. But look, he's being arrested. Yep. Good. Creepy dude. Oh, that was horrible. Yeah, that mum thing. That, yeah, that definitely got me the, <laughs> the most so far. But, like her head was like bludgeoned in. But yeah. she looked like she was dressed in like a wedding dress. Can you <laughs> scared of your mum then? Yeah. You know those headaches I get sometimes? Maybe she's the same. They started when I was a little girl. Yeah. Your grandmother is like that too. Yeah. She was sensitive. I wondered if you and your sisters might be a little sensitive. Shirley says some things sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pandas and noodles. And I asked Nellie what she thought about the house when we moved in. She said it was loud. Such an odd word she chose. Mm. Noticed you always wore sweaters inside. Why is that? Because it's always cold. But she can sense all the dead yeah, people there. Like Sensitive people, they sometimes need... Oh, is this the beginning of the gloves? Yeah. These will help with the cold and the other thing. Does his dad know that you're sensitive? <laughs> we'll talk a lot more about it as you get older. Aww. But in the meantime... She must be wondering why her daughter got so freaked out when she touched yeah. her. If she knows that she's like, she'd be like, what the fuck did you see? Thanks. That's your going to kill you for this. Oh, she took the, the, the okay. deal. Yeah. So what are you going to do with the money? I'm going to get my fucking PhD. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good call. Yeah. 
but they were all pretty upset with him considering he well he must have made up a load of shit because yeah. he didn't see it yeah. and I think well I'm guessing she knows it was real she's definitely yeah. she can't pretend that there's nothing no. that happened like but the older one I'm still not sure whether she's just in denial or yeah kind of, kind of tank her way through it yeah. stoically oh. oh she's gonna she's gonna touch oh that's what oh, he said oh god he did he called it and this is gonna be bad do her brothers and sisters know? I don't think they know that she's got no. the powers. Only her and her mum, like she she's shared that with her mum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she does not look happy about it. Oh. This is going to be so bad. Yeah. But hopefully we'll get some answers. You don't usually see what she sees, so... <laughs> That doesn't sound good. Yeah. How is that worse than something terrible happening? Like, how does that hey. mess me up more? Yeah. Knowing something yeah. horrific, but we don't know what. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? You look uh... not fine. Charlie found your checkbook. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what yeah, time to bring that up? It's just as bad for you as it is for me. I'm not gonna tell her. Oh, what does she? What? Of course not. You might want to come up with an excuse though. She knows he, about the accounts. Maybe a mistress, something. I think he took the life. deal for the book as well, maybe. <gasps> That's why they're always in the black. Yeah, I was thinking it's going to piss her off less than the truth. Oh, shit, yeah, good call. Because he was like, no, and she was like, no, and everyone was like, no, I don't yeah. think they took the deal. I wouldn't be surprised if everyone had taken the deal, to be yeah. honest. Oh, hang on. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I just feel kind of weird about how I left the other night. Is that what you want to talk about? I don't know what do people usually talk about. How are you? How was your day? I found out that a nine-year-old was getting molested. And then? And she bared it so deep she had to make up a monster. And she did such a good job that she planted him right in my head. She doesn't really so talk to people ever, does she? Mm-hmm. That she doesn't know. So. so, you know, this kid, she built up so many emotional walls. I touched her hand and I didn't even... She just needed help and no one was listening. So, should we talk about your day or would you rather come to bed? Oh, I hope she makes something of this. Yeah. I mean, she, Timothy really needs something in her life that isn't horrible right yeah. now. And she just opened up quite a lot to the point she nearly said about her oh. sensing stuff. Oh, no, no. The last, this is the last yeah, night. Yeah, I knew I wanted to know, but I don't want to know. <laughs> Theo, I need you to get Luke and Nell to the car. Yeah. Why did he carry the oldest boy car. but made her do it? Get... Come on. What the hell? Touch me. Okay. <laughs> that was a way to end an ending. that. Yeah. What? <laughs> what the fuck? That that episode was just. Did his dad murder murder the mum then? I mean, it it kind of looked like he did. But yeah. But then there were also ghosts. Which makes me think that he didn't murder her. But was something he... messed up happened. Maybe like she was possessed by one of the ghosts and went or for him. Or he was possessed. Or he was possessed. But then if she's sensitive, mm. maybe she... Because I was like, why did... Why would... If he'd seen all this really scary stuff in the house... I don't know, there's a lot of questions here. So if he'd seen all this really yeah. scary stuff in the house... Yeah. Why would he send... Ne- not Nelly, uh, Theodora, to, to take the two kids... On her own to the car, but when he picked his oldest son, they, they up, were in the entry. They were in the lobby. Yeah, it was literally just the doors there. Go through it. Okay. Whereas I'm guessing the horrible things he didn't want the son to see were between the son's room and the lobby. But the horrible things that he didn't want the son to see, Mate. I thought would have been just like him worried about ghosts and stuff being around, yeah. or you know, but may have been the dead. Yeah, it may have been his wife, his mum, yeah. with her brain hanging out, and. But when they were in that room, somebody was turning the door handle. I don't think it was the mum. Definitely not. Oh, no, what happened? They just showed us a little bit of it and now I'm yeah. just like, what the hell? Like, it's, it's the curse of too little knowledge. They've just given us these little breadcrumbs and I just... I've got to say, I don't really know what I was expecting from this show. Yeah. But it was, was not, not this. this. Yeah. This is worlds better than anything I was expecting. I thought it was just going to be, you know... Cheap jump scares. Scary, but yeah, it's, this is... It hasn't scared me that much. The thing no. that scared me the most was when she was holding her mum's mom. hand yeah, and, she, and she saw that because I wasn't expecting mm. that at all. But I think every other scare has been like, 
yeah pretty expected like yeah. i can kind of see it coming you kind of know from watching a lot of stuff that yeah. the kind of frames that they're going to do something yeah. jumpy on and the music change and, and i mean to be fair when you get buried in a freaking basement and your torch starts going off when it comes on yeah. there's going to be something bad there. well that was obviously going to be terrible <sighs> That freaking episode, man, it hurt on every possible level. There was just like who... a world of horrors there. It's what happened to the dad. So I'm trying yeah. to think afterwards, like, the dad called... I think the dad called the door... Did the dad call the daughter, the oldest daughter in the first episode? Did he just call Stephen? It seemed like he called Stephen, who called Cheryl... Who I told... Because one um, of them said to him, like, you don't Theo. have the right to call me or something. But if... Theo knows what happens or thought that he did it then because it seems like Theo I don't know she gets feelings and like Mm. she's been good at working out Mm. real things that have happened as in like with the child and not necessarily paranormal stuff apart from obviously there was definitely like a dead boy looking face in that little vision she saw at yeah, the end very much so and someone pushing the mum i think against a wall and yeah and it seemed like the dad it but that him. may have been kind of creative cutting to make us yeah. think just the fact that we're only on episode three. three seems a little too early to reveal oh my god it was the dad that killed the mum yeah which makes me think there is considerably more to that scene than we've been led to believe to this point and I'm, I'm wondering, I mean, you know, we saw now, we saw old Theo go into a basement, look at a sofa, look at the roof, yeah. get the impression of, like, pain and fear, and p- p- patch that all together in her head. Is that because she's had, I'm guessing, about 35 years worth of experience putting these intuitions together? Yeah, yeah, clearly. Whereas when she was, what, Younger. 10, yeah. maybe, and she touches her dad's hand, sees these flashes, and she just, you know, she can't deal with it, so she assumes... The father has killed the mother. Yeah. And has been kind of holding on to that ever since. Because that's what I'm thinking about, like, when Nell was about to die, she called her dad. And her dad was the one that she kind of spoke to. And her dad was the one that was honestly the most concerned out of all of them. And he was straight away like, I'm going to come find you. I'm going to make sure. But then she hung herself in that house. Maybe did she do it because of trauma from just her mum dying? Or was it... No. But she sees the bent neck lady. Yeah, but is she the bent neck lady? Oh, what herself? I mean, well, you, in the future. Yeah, when you hang, yeah. You know. Well, yeah. But then, how did the mum? The mum looks seem to have been bludgeoned, right? Yeah, probably from contact with the wall. I feel like this is a lot more psychological than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, like there's. Because that could be, yeah. There her. are so many freaking layers. She could have seen herself dead in the future, and yeah. <sighs> Oh. Or possibly the bent neck lady was someone that hung themselves in the past. And because there seemed to be a connection between her and Nell, maybe she kind of took that path. Yeah. I feel... <sighs> Again, like, before this, I thought, oh, God, I'm gonna... I was like, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with horror. I'm like, oh, I have to just, like, get through it. And right now I'm just like... <laughs> I, mean, I kind of need more. Yeah, I, need... I want to watch. I, I just what? <laughs> I mean, it, it, you know, you say earlier how she, how Nell rang the dad when she was, you know, re-entering Hill House. Mm-hmm. It seemed that there was definitely a distance between her and the other siblings. But then when we go back to the wedding day, they were like, "Oh, oh I love really you close. so." Much. They were yeah. they were a real tight unit. They were, and there was a bond there more yeah. than just like familial. Yeah. So what happens between now? Or then and now. But that's what that's what I'm that wondering. Rift. Because she it's was like so now, not now. Theo was kind of mm. like, I'm angry with her. I'm angry with her for like mm. doing that. And it's kind of like so. Essentially, yeah, we think that she's, you know, that she's angry with her for killing herself. But mm. I think you think that it's from past trauma. But realistically, <sighs> it could actually be something a lot simpler than that. You know, we're thinking in horror theory, or uh, is it yeah. because of this? But it could just I be, you know, her husband, her marriage fell apart. Mm. She was just at rock bottom in that sense. Yeah, um, I mean, and then, and then that's what made her spiral out of control and think yeah. about all these other things, and yeah. then go back to this, this place. You know, because she yeah. seemed pretty well adjusted. She did yeah. when it came to the the wedding. Um, oh, so there's a lot of like, yeah. there's a lot of anger towards this house yeah. thing. I feel like, it sounds a bit nasty, but like I feel like I want to see Stephen 
go through the full experience of what they kind of went through. Yeah. Because... It feels like he definitely needs kind of a, a slice of the family pie. Yeah. Well, we haven't seen him again since... True. Um, Episode one. So I'm interested because... Mm. So so the first one was focused on Stephen. Mm. second one was focused on uh, sure. Shirley. The third one was focused on Nell. Yes. No, Thea. The, oh, yeah, Dora. sorry, Thea, yeah. And then for the next episode is called The Twin Thing, which is going to be focused on either both of them or maybe just uh, Luke or maybe just um, Nell. So that would be interesting. I feel like, but then the one after is called The Bent Neck Lady. So I feel like maybe number four will, will be... focus on Luke and, and then, then number five will focus on Nell. Um, I think that is a very strong theory. I have all of the episode names in front of me. Yeah, and so, cheat. yeah, which might be cheating a little, but there's, I mean, seven is eulogy. I'm going to be a eulogy Nell's funeral. for Nell, yeah, yeah, maybe. And, but uh, they've already mentioned the eulogy and what that means when we had... Yeah, um, a bit of foreshadowing there with the kitties. Yeah, with the kitties. Rest in peace, little kitties. So we have the thing with the husband where he's got a side account and yes, which I think Theodora he... obviously told her not to question it and just to trust it, but then she spoke to him and she knows. So I think it's that they both took the deal yeah, I think from that's the a... book. from yeah, Spot on. Which makes sense and is a lot less sinister than kind of what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I love that she was like, tell her you have a mistress somewhere <laughs> yeah. else. Anything that will make her less pissed off about mm. that. Because she obviously feels very, very strongly about yeah. that. But I, I think, yeah, at this point, I kind of want to know a bit more about Luke yeah. and what uh, he's been going through. I mean, I think definitely, we need to have we need a, we need a Luke episode because mm-hmm. there seems like there's a lot going on there. I mean, but yeah, we're, and we're, more now as well. Yeah, yeah. is in the space between. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think there's one part that we really need to touch upon from that episode. Which is, what the hell did Theo see when she touched Nell that made her just collapse like that? Like, what horrors were left in her uh, last hours yeah. that had her on the floor just bawling? I think, well, yeah, that's a good point. Because that, that implies, again, that there's really fucking scary shit going on in that house. Yeah. I don't know what my first thought was. What if she saw, like, the mum back and... Killing, killing Nell her, or something, yeah, or, or helping Nell kill herself, but uh, I think mean, I might be slightly um, overthinking. Are we sure that Nell hung herself? No, we're just taking that in the guess from the the rope crack sound and the motion they yeah, all made yeah, when guess. they all realised that Nell had entered the red room. Yeah, but it could be anything. It, yeah, I mean, this is this is just a a theory at this point. Oh, what? I was just thinking those. You know the you know in the red room underneath you see like um, the, the, the foot, foot step- shadows. Yeah, yeah, but the sh- foot shadows aren't necessarily on the floor. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> well, if she opens the door and it's just someone it's hanging, like the there. hanging thing. Yeah, but yeah. It, and that was that's what happened to her in the in the red room yeah. potentially. But also the dad <sighs> is a really big question mark because yeah. he's not he's we've not heard anything from him since that happened, and he is he's kind of the key to a lot of this. Really, he is so. I feel like they're not going to let us find that out for quite a while. Um, ah! Okay, I really like this show. Yeah. <laughs> I can see why this show is over. And I just want to say that to everyone out there that asked us to watch this one. Yeah. Thanks for the suggestions. Thanks. My brain hurts now, yeah. so cheers. I mean, <laughs> so... we have seven more episodes. We may hate you by episode 10, but yeah. right now, thanks Right now, bunch. it's a good one, yeah. Anything else to add? Just wild sobs and like sc- I, screaming i need a, a, a drink and a mind scramble yeah just to, good call <laughs> just to compartmentalize or process, process everything mm. that just happened there yeah mm. um <sighs> anyway as always guys if you liked our reactions please remember to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified for any future uploads as soon as they come out uh and otherwise we'll see you next time Take care.